So the Dutch court case indicates increasing climate litigation risks. And as such, climate litigation constitutes a significant risk for the company and its investors. Taking the necessary steps now will mitigate this risk and limit future liability. So therefore, my question is, can you elaborate on the future climate-related climate related legal risk for the company and its investors? And does this change due to the move to England? Um, uh, again, I don't, I don't think so. And, 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 the, and, and our move has nothing to do with uh, the considerations that you're talking about there. Um, we, we're a global company. We operate in many, many countries. Um, and in all of those countries, we, we obviously face local standards and local challenges. And, uh, and, and we also have plenty of um, uh, plaintiffs who seek to address through uh, many courts in many places and through protesting, which I've said is fine. Uh, um, the, um, uh, the, the, um, the perceived, if you like, uh, outcomes uh, from, from Shell. So um, this is not about uh, any of that. It, it's simply about being able to become more dynamic company with a more transparent relationship with its shareholders. And I would argue on balance by doing that, we will be able to even better uh, protect our assets and to, to, to reduce our liabilities and risk in some cases through, I think, going, uh, going faster into the energy transition. All right, thank you very much for your answer. So I hope you will truly put all your pressure uh, in front of the energy transition, but because Shell is not yet truly aligned with Paris in this moment, I think you should, you should really be afraid of these legal risks, and such risks can only be avoided by taking bold and brave decisions related to the energy transition, and I think Shell is really able to do this, but doesn't show it yet. Thank you. Okay. I, I appreciate your views, uh, um, um, but um, uh, I, I think we are going to be bold and brave. Thank you.